Do you think, though, you make your hay at quarterback in the red zone and on third down, he's got to improve there. If he does, we know how good this defense is. All right, for more before kickoff, let's go down to Tracy. Jim, new offensive coordinator Joe Brady will be calling the plays from the booth today. And so will Jets offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett making the change for the first time this season. I had a chance to talk to him pregame. He said they're just trying to do whatever they can to spark the offense. You'll also see some personnel changes. Young new faces in and out of the lineup today. And that includes rookie running back Izzy Abanaconda making his NFL debut. He will spell Brees Hall on first and second down. Dalvin Cook will be the third down back. Jim. All right, Trace, we'll see that Jet offense on the field first as Buffalo defers. Again, they met on the opening Monday night of the season with the Jets winning on a punt return by Xavier Gibson in overtime. And it was a night when the Bills turned it over four times. There is the hero of week one. And that uh, was certainly a harbinger of what the storyline was to be for Buffalo, at least so far this season giving the football away right there in the opener four times to the Jets. Bass sends it down the way and it's going to be Gibson with the hands on it. He had his hands on it again the last time they met and the ball comes out at the end and it's recovered by the backup tight end Morris and look at that hit level by Buffalo. Reggie Gilliam popped it out of the hands of Gibson. Wow, you want to talk about a start to the game. I think that's a fumble, too. And the last time we were here, you just mentioned it. Gibson comes on and wins the game. Was he down? Oh, the, oh, the ball's coming out. Yeah, that's it's what it It's coming out. Like. It's uh, squirting up and kind of working its way up the shoulder pads, and it's out. After all the pressure on special teams coach Matthew Smiley, last week, 12 men on the field. The game you talked about, Gibson, to win the game early in the year. Well... That changes it very quickly. Boy, you're not kidding. Gilliam had a hat on it. His helmet just helped lodge that ball out of the hands of Gibson. What, what a play by Gibson. I mean, by Williams, that's incredible. Here is Allen faking the short toss and faking it again and taking off and picking up about three. Eccles brought him down. That's just the third, by the way, takeaway by the Bills in their last five games. It's been the other way. They've been giving the football away. Josh Allen's heard enough of it. He's led uh, the league, co-lead coming into the week with Tua for touchdown passes, but the talk has been about Buffalo giving the football away, and he's ready to atone for that today. I think that's part of the reason they did that. Made that decision, right, to change coordinators, just the ball. It's tough to handle the snap, and it goes in and out of the hands of Diggs and Joe Brady the new offensive coordinator he's 34 he has quite a resume for his young years was a coordinator down in Carolina got caught in a situation there with uh, COVID and all didn't get a lot of hands-on time with his talent of course at LSU it's where he really made his mark working with Joe Burrow and guys like Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase so here we go third down already third and seven Stepping back to the 28, and the Jets get to him. They shove him all the way back to a near 50-yard field goal attempt as Quinn and Williams comes up with the play, and that Jets defense, that has been their story all season long. Yeah, well, Gilliam makes the play for the Bills earlier, and now this time the top defensive player for the Jets comes up big again, and he's leading so many categories, Jim. This is the guy that's so disruptive when he's out there. Top three in pressures in the league at defensive tackle. He only has one sack, but you got to understand he creates a ton of issue every game. Well, that's a loss of 12, Tony. So a 48 yard attempt coming up for Tiger Bass. And the Bills able to get a field goal off the rivals. Buffalo with the edge, 68 58. And Bass now for the second time, sending it down the way. And Gibson saying, Spot on the field where he fielded the first one. And again, he is decked. Then again, it's Reggie. Reggie Killian with the tackle. Let's bring out Zach Wilson. The last two games, passing yardage is good, but nothing to speak of as far as this team finding the end zone. It's been 169 minutes of action. So, Nathaniel Hackett and the Jets hoping to get this offense cranking. 
unlike what they've seen here for weeks. They've only scored 43 points in their last five games total. Hand off to Hall. And traffic up the middle. And he's held to only a gain of about three. Dotson on the tackle for Grace Hall. We got a marker down. Some some pushing and shoveling. Shoving going on with uh, Jordan Phillips of the Bills and one jet tangled as well. I think you're going to see Ed Oliver created this. It'll probably be on 63 Glazer. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness from 97 defense. Ooh. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. It's called on Phillips. We've mentioned him. So this is the play being. I saw Ed Oliver there. That's the one I was talking about with Glazer, but you can't go in right there. That's where you're going to, they're going to get you. That's a silly play. That's just emotional. And I can tell you, Sean McDermott and this coaching staff will not be happy about that, just giving away free yards. No, he was tangled with Chris Glazer, who starts today at right guard. As Max Mitchell moves to right tackle. Two tight ends for the Jets. From the 42, dropping back and dumping it. Incomplete, intended for Brees Hall. Pass was not accurate. There's Ed Oliver, who you can expand on this, but he's having some really good numbers behind the scenes, maybe nuance for some people. You just don't hear about D tackles and their numbers that often. No, he's had an outstanding, and for a guy who signed four years, 68 million in the offseason, sometimes people take a little break. The opposite, he's having a career year, leads all D tackles and pressure rate and pressures, and he's also stuffing the run as well as any defensive tackle. Here's the second and ten. They're after him, man. They've got him. This is Shaq Lawson with the sack. It's a great job by Sean McDermott. Sends five rushers, so he gets one on ones. And this right side of this offensive line has been very troublesome all year. And right there, you see, you, you get the one on one matchups, and there, Shaq Lawson takes advantage of it. It's been. Honestly, it's a turnstile over there this year, Jim. They had 11 different O-line combinations this year. That's been very troublesome. I know we talked about Zach Wilson, but it'd be hard for any quarterback to play back there. Makes it a third and 20. Trying to get it all, and that's out of bounds. That sack was the 34th of the year by the Buffalo defense. They came into the week second most for sacks behind Baltimore, and off come the Jets. 